The fourth series saw Thomas and Friends reach their 100th episode, titled Thomas and the Special Letter. In this episode, Thomas and his friends receive a letter that intrigues the Fat Controller to take his engines to the big city far away. During this time, Britt Allcroft and the team were developing a full-length feature film starring the beloved characters from the island of Sodor. The result was Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Under Hit, a new production crew stepped in to join Steve, including producer Simon Spencer, script executive Sam Barlow, first camera assistant Nigel Permain, the son of Terry Permain, who worked with the series from the start, and the music team of composer Robert Hartshorn and songwriter Ed Welch. Before Thomas, Simon worked as a director and producer for the Jim Henson Company on construction site, The Hoobs, and Mopatop Shop. Steve Asquith previously worked alongside Simon as a technical consultant, and Ed Welch also contributed with the soundtrack. They grab, they grip, they can take it to the tip. That's what they do. They lift, they load, they can run it up the road. That's what they do. Additionally, Paul Larson, Mark Seal, and Jocelyn Stevenson, who was then executive producer of Thomas from the seventh season, all contributed to writing episodes for Construction Site before working for Ghislaine and Hit Entertainment on Thomas. Meanwhile, Steve Asquith worked on another animatronic children's show for Platinum Films titled Dream Street. For the new U.S. narrator, Hit Entertainment approached Dempsey and Makepeace star Michael Brandon during his run of Jerry Springer the Opera at the Royal National Theatre in London. <laughs> 